Hello and welcome to episode 38 of the Craving Crypto Podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to find good coins to trade. So let's get right into this. Starting with the market update, as we always do, we are looking at our total market capitalization on coinsignals.trade and we are still predicting that we go for the 240 billion dollar levels so let me just point out a few things making me believe that is what we are doing so first of all the price is bouncing very clearly off these support levels i'm going to delete these arrows temporarily we can bring them back in a second just to show you how the price has reacted over the weekend as you can see we did get that hard bounce it was very impulsive it came back down to that support level in that support zone and bounced, came back up to this resistance level, rejected a little bit, and now we're getting a bounce. So if we really get above this consolidation range and this little potential ascending triangle pattern that we're drawing here, that could look good for the bulls. And I would still expect this 230 or 240 billion dollar zone to be tested. Things are definitely favoring the bullish option of retesting this resistance level but if we do have a support failure at this level again we could always go down for these lower support levels that we've been watching really since we bounced here and since we bounced here in the total market capitalization so as far as the market goes i'm still long on most of my positions i'm still expecting upside momentum but i am being aware and being cautious with my stop losses setting them at the previous support levels and watching as the market continues to develop prices and price action. As you can see, the chart is just going parabolic. The ticker is OCN and it's up 36%. This is their top mover for the day. And as you can see, this is just a huge parabolic run up on the upside. So we're not expecting this to be sustainable, but when this does do some type of a retracement, you can get in on the retracement. So watch for that. We don't know exactly where this is going to reject from. You can use previous resistance levels in the past to get a better idea of that. Head it over to the one week. You can see that there was some resistance in these areas in the past. So maybe we start to get rejections off of these levels as we go up and as we continue to rally. So that's kind of what I'd be watching for with this one. It's going parabolic and... If you really want to play this coin, you have to get in on a retrace. You don't want to be buying anything that's going up like this. When you get this type of a move in a market, you wait for the rejection and then you can start to draw your Fibonacci retracements. So as this goes up, maybe the price hits two cents or 2.5 cents and then starts to reject. And that's when you can start to draw your Fibonacci retracement. You go from the low to the high. You come over here on the left hand and you grab your fib tool and then you start to project the levels that you can aim to ladder in at and buy these support levels and expect it to return to its upward trend if this does continue to see upward movement throughout the rest of the year so that's why you can always use your fib retracement and wait be patient for the cycle to play out so you can get a better picture of what's coming and you don't get stuck on the wrong side of this trend before it gives you a clear buy signal. So today's subject matter is how to find good coins to trade. So we're just going to use coinmarketcap.com to actually utilize all of its rankings, its volume tools, and its trend tools based on 7-day and 30-day analysis. So you can get a better picture of really how to hop on your computer at any point in time and look at these coins and shift through them and figure out what ones you want to trade to get good profits. So the first thing I like to check is the 30 day volume. So you head over to rankings and then click on 30 day volume for the coin market cap coins and it will place all of them in the ones that are averaging the highest volume. I like to trade coins that have good liquidity and good volume. So this is a quick way for me to hop on, shift through all of these different coins and find setups based on knowing that I can trade these with good liquidity, good volume, and I have access to them on multiple major exchanges. So that's one of my favorite ways to find coins to trade, especially for midterm swing trades or two to three month setups, because then I can really get behind this chart right here and look through these coins averaging good volume, find a good swing trade, and then take my positions based on that. So 
If you want to do lower cap altcoin trades, the best way to do this would be to use the trending tool. So if you click on gainers and losers under trending, it'll pull up a huge list. And what I like to do is click on the seven day. And this will show me the biggest gainers in the past week. And if I'm doing low cap altcoin trades, I look for good volume on the best trends in a seven day period of time and I'll play those trends and that's good for swing trading on smaller time frames but you really want to make sure that these have good volume because a lot of shit coins comes up on this because these end up being pump and dumps so get behind the project make sure that you check that it's on lots of good exchanges and that you've got lots of volume so you can take those positions and trade the trend knowing that you'll have liquidity to get in and back out of the market. So Electronium is one of the ones on this list. We've got Nexo, a lot of names that are just in strong seven day trends. So you can play those and profit by the dips on those trends and sell as they bounce back up because it's obviously been doing that for an extended period of time. The coin that we are just talking about is actually on this list. This one is up a lot today, so you really wouldn't want to be FOMOing into this. You could do some type of scalping or short-term swing trades, but I really wouldn't recommend it. A better one to be trading on this list is going to be one that's up a good percentage in the last seven days, but not up too much to the point where it's going to be overvalued on the short term. So maybe if you come down and you find one that has a high volume, like Nexo, and we go check out its chart, it's actually up about 27% in 24 hours as well. So this one may not be a good one. So you just kind of shift through these, these charts, right? And find a good one. Let's look. If this retraced really quickly back down to seven cents roughly, that would be a good dip buy because it's on a strong trend. So this is one that you could add to your watch list and potentially play, set some alerts and buy based on that seven day strategy and the seven day trend and gainers. I would really avoid trading coins or getting into coins that are on the seven day losers because these are obviously in strong downtrends currently and they don't have good upward momentum on the short term so they're not really ones that you want to be playing a lot. And so yeah that's a good avoid list and then this is a good watch list for those short term swing trades. So one of the questions for the week is whether you get stopped out at the price of your limit order or whether you get stopped out at the price of your stop order or an average between the two. The limit is the actual order that gets triggered. The stop triggers the limit. So the limit order is going to be the price that you actually sell at when that stop is taken. So that answers your question. And also trailing stop losses are not available on Binance, but you can make a trading plan for yourself and set little if then statements if the price does this then I will set my stop at this point or if there's a major support level here I'll set it there or if there's this certain candlestick pattern I'll set it below that price on a certain time frame and then that is how you can make a trading plan for your stop losses and kind of trail them manually on your own with Binance. It takes a little bit more work but it, you're going to get a lot more control that way and a higher profitability. So that's kind of my recommendation for that. You guys can always get the links for our technical analysis in every episode and the previous episode in the document below. We've got sign up links for Binance. You can click on the chart and look at our technical analysis via the link as well. We've got Coinigy if you want to do technical analysis on altcoins. BitMEX if you want to do leverage trading on Bitcoin. And my Bitcoin address if you like what I'm doing you can send donations that way. And last but not least the VIP course and my website if you want to go ahead and check that out to get more hands-on with your trade. Thank you so much for tuning in today's episode. I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and drop them in the box below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next videos. As always, stay profitable out there. One more quick thing before I let you guys go. If you are a VIP member and you're not in the Discord yet, go ahead and join the Discord. The links are in the document of this video. We post all our analysis on here regularly and keep you updated. It's really popping right now. There's a lot of people in here talking and learning. It's just a great positive environment. So if you're a VIP member, go ahead and join this. If you're not, you can join in and talk in the welcome channel, but the VIP channels are for the paying members only. So I just wanted to give you guys that little update because this is really where all of the exciting stuff is happening with HAI 
right now and you really got to get in here. So go ahead and click the links in the document below and I'll see you guys inside.